Chasing 700 is sponsored by CarShield. Coming into today, the Cardinals had not scored an earned run since game one of Saturday's doubleheader against the Reds. Just think about how long ago that was. They narrowly avoided being no hit last night and needed something to go right in today's matinee in San Diego. Jack Flaherty on the hill today and he was not greeted too kindly in this one. Jurickson Profar tees off on this first inning fastball from Flaherty and deposits it into the seats. Padres up. But stop the presses, I have breaking news. Our long national nightmare is over. The Cardinals have scored a run. Lars Newbar breaks the 47 inning streak without an earned run with that homer. And I tell you what, it gets even better. Brendan Donovan just hit a grand slam. The Cardinals are up 5-3 to three right now. Coming into today's game against the Padres, the Cardinals held the dubious honor of being the first team since the 1995 Tigers to score zero runs and record nine or fewer hits over a three-game span. But as you might have expected, the manager is still playing it calm about, about the slumping offense. You can tell about people when you, when you go through what we're going through right now, how they respond to it. Um, it tells you a lot about who they are, their character, their ability to, to fight through it. And I'll be honest with you, um, I have a ton of confidence in them, and they have a ton of confidence in themselves. So I, I, mean, I know I keep repeating this, but I'm concerned zero. Yeah. I know it's still baseball season, but fall isn't the busiest time on the sports calendar for nothing. The Blues kicked off their season today with day one of training camp at Centene Ice Center, and it's sure to be a camp full of questions. There are a few new additions this year, including forward Nola Kari and goaltender Thomas Grice brought in to back up Jordan Bennington. Things will look a bit different this season, especially with veteran forward David Perron, now a Detroit Red Wing. But the Blues know losing Perron is all part of the business of hockey. Lose pieces, you gain pieces. Um, yeah, we're, we're ready to uh, you know, prove some people wrong and, and be a part of uh, uh, a good hockey team this year um, in a tough division. He was a very good player here for us, a very good teammate, you know. Um, but that's what, you know that's the way the game goes with salary cap and things like that. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's it is what it is. I mean, but he contributed to this hockey team, and he was a big part of us winning the championship and being a real good player and driving our culture and being a good teammate here. I want you to take a look at this man. He's Maryville University tennis star Mario Aleksic, and he might be the best athlete in St. Louis you haven't heard about yet. Aleksic is a native of Montenegro and just recently won the ITA Division II Midwest Championship for the Saints. And the 21-year-old doesn't plan to stop winning in America anytime soon. From the moment that I, that I started the tournament, I, had, I knew that I, I should win this tournament because I came here with the goal to win in America, so that's why I'm, if I'm apart from my home, homeland and people that I love, I should be here doing some good stuff. Yeah. And that's why, why I believed in it. I am very happy our Frank Cusimano finally got to see some offense out in yeah. San Diego yeah. from the Cardinals so far today. <laughs> yeah, so D Donovan had a grand slam. Grand slam. And now we right need as a, we were walking out we, here. Now we need wow. a Pujols home run. That would be good too. Yeah. yeah.